Hello everyone, today in our series of Talk Clicks SKL interviews, we have with us a seasoned and well-known urologist, Dr. Deepak Kirpekar. He is currently associated with Jahangir Hospital, KEM and MGM Hospitals. His stellar career saw him sharing various prestigious positions such as the past president of USI in the year 2014-2015, organizing chairman of Live International Workshop on Reconstructive Urology, joint organizing secretary of Asian Congress of Urology in Delhi. He is also the recipient of Mayor's Award and he is the first to perform AMS 800 in India. Thank you so much Dr. Deepak for joining Thank us today. Thank you very much for the invitation. So, can you please tell us about the clinical challenges in kidney transplantation and what is the success rate as per your experience? Well, most of the centers in India follow the live related transplant program and so success is good. Only when you start going outside the family and taking kidneys, then the success is an issue because then we need to give high immunosuppression to patients and they have more problems related to immunosuppression instead of actually the kidney itself. So, we do two transplants a week in Jahangir. We strictly do live related transplants and yes, success is very good. The challenges are getting a perfect match, talking to patients, relatives for possible donation and that's the challenge. But when it comes to surgically, it's straightforward. But what happens in cases when uh, immediate relative is not available or life donor is not available? We have to use all our skills to convince them mm -hmm. that this is the best way of going for transplantation. And, and in India, as it is, there is just no possibility of getting a kidney which doesn't belong to a relative. So what is the struggle involved in optimization of long-term outcomes after kidney transplantation? Perfect understanding of the patient and the relatives. Transplantation done creating income to 1.2 does not mean the program has gone through. He has to follow the regime. He has to be regularly observed. He has to come to the nephrologist to see things are going well. So challenges are again making the family understand what a transplant is. It's a wonderful change in life but it needs a follow up and that's what the long term challenge. We have had patients whose kidneys were working perfectly well, everything was fine. Then the thought comes in their mind, why do I have to take this and they stop immunosuppression. And then the kidney starts giving trouble maybe after 5 years. But long term follow up and understanding is the most important. So can you elaborate on the recent advances in the surgical management of kidney transplantation? I have seen. In Delhi, the robot assisted robotic recipient surgery. We have been doing donor nephrectomies laparoscopically for a long time. This is because a donor is a normal human being and why should he suffer pain? So instead of open surgery, go to a donor nephrectomy. Robotic recipient has come in maybe just about a year or two. In India, there are two centers which regularly do it. I was lucky enough to go and witness one in Delhi very recently, a patient of mine wanted robotic transplantation and I think robot does everything exactly what we do in open surgery in a very precise manner and, and that's the change. If more robots start doing it, I think we'll have perfect results for renal transplantation. So do you think this has a future of renal transplantation? I think so. I think so. In India, cost is the main deterrent but I think so. The complications related to robotic surgery relate to vascular problems which can be totally eliminated using a robot because suturing is very precise. We have ureteric problems which are related to nephrectomy to some extent because the blood supply can be deprived at that point of time. Apart from these two complications there are no other issues related to surgery for transplantation. 
So does mannitol affect the short term allograft function in a live donor renal transplantation or living donor? Hundred percent. We have a regime mm -hmm. where the anesthetists are told when we start touching the anterior surface of the kidney, the first shot of mannitol is given. When we mobilize the hilum, the second shot is given, and just before the kidney is actually removed, the third shot is given, and it does make a hell of a difference from the outcome point of view. So, how much do comorbidities like obesity or hypertension, diabetes play an important role in the treatment of patients with renal transplantation? Well, we do have a lot of diabetics who land up into diabetic nephropathy and that's how they come to renal transplantation. Um, in United Kingdom, I know they would transplant the kidney as well as the pancreas to take care of the diabetes. There has been one or two reported cases in India where this has been done. But that all relates to cadaver program. When we are talking about live related transplantation, it is impossible to get a um, pancreas okay. in. So again, a good understanding, a good survey to tell them that diabetes has to be taken care of. Diabetes is diabetes. We are only going to change your lifestyle from the kidney perspective. But everything else has to be taken care of. And diabetes plays a very, very important role. There are people I have seen who have diabetic nephropathy and diabetic neuropathy where the bladders are affected. So we've got to consider whether can we use the same bladder for ureteritary implantation or we need to do something else. So diabetes is very important. Is there any specific patient case uh, that you'd like to share with our doctors that has that has been quite challenging for you or most turning point in your career? Well, as far as transplant surgery is concerned, we have had patients with two arteries. We have had recently we had a patient, a donor, a genuine donor having three arteries on both sides. So these are the challenges, getting three arteries put together. We have had bifid systems, both sides. So we had to choose on which one to take. As far as donor is concerned, the left side is simpler to do as compared to right side. Uh, we do left sided laparoscopic donor nephrectomies, right sided we do open donor nephrectomies. As far as putting the kidney is is concerned, the challenge is vascular anastomosis. That's the main challenge. So do you think uh, an online platform like Doclixis can help raise awareness about, among doctors? I'm sure definitely it would. And I'm so glad that this program exists. And thank you very much for getting mm -hmm. me here so that the message can go. Yes, we are into transplantation. We are into live related transplantation. But I want the doctors to know that cadaver program must also take off because there is a tremendous potential with cadaver program. And the doctors know when they talk about it, that's how people will know about it. Definitely. Thank you so much, Dr. Deepas, for joining us today. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Bye-bye. To stay updated on our latest scaled videos and interviews, please follow us on Twitter, like us on our Facebook page, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy Doc Flexing!